go to the superintendent's report. Are you ready? Okay. Just to get people on deck, the next item will be um, um, R277301 educator, educator licensing. So after the superintendent report. Oh, hang on one sec. Before we get into that, board member Stokes. It's not that I don't want to hear Sid Dixon's report, but at 3 p.m., we can go to the Every Student Succeed Act, and I'm getting ready to leave, and so if there's anybody who thinks that my vote is needed for that, I would make the motion that we move that item up to at 3 p.m. and deal with it now, and this, the great and amazing superintendent can give her report later. What? Oh, wow. Well, that, that'd, be a, that'd be a first. Um, let's, let's do the superintendent's report, and then um, we can adjust the, uh, the items here to accommodate that particular request. doesn't require a, a motion. Okay, hit it. So I, I don't have a slide deck, so that may speed things up today. Hang on, let me turn. There you go. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about operations. Um, we have some milestones to celebrate that I think are important for you all to know. So as of today, um, August 2nd, we're not completely closed for fiscal year um, 18. However, we've made significant progress in this area. And you, you might remember in years past, we would come and we weren't close. We weren't close. And this year, we are um, we are close, uh, not only close to closure, and it will be the first year of closure in our finance system, which is huge. And really moving towards finance, you know, has been a, a heavy lift. And so the fun thing is that next year when we come to report to you, we will really be fully in finance and say this, this is kind of our second year moving through finance. So we've learned a lot, and our team is just working incredible hours and doing really well to get closed. Uh, in relationship to that, we're live in the grants management system. We've brought that to you on many occasions, and so the fact that we're in the grants management system uh, partially to know that by this time next year we'll be fully in grants management. We're getting out of those shadow systems. We're not bringing spreadsheets to you um, when it comes to grants management. So just kudos again to the team for really um, working through this difficult process and getting us fully operational um, towards grants management uh, in a more fiscally appropriate way. Um, we've, we're looking at IT governance and starting that strategic um, work of having a governance process we, we haven't had in the past. and. This is really helpful to our IT team and really connecting everything that they do to the strategic plan and prioritizing their work. We've had this system where we've had people coming to them with all sorts of priorities, and so to have a governance system that can help them work through those and prioritize according to your strategic plan is really helpful. And I'm really skimming this. Um, if you want more information in, in any detail, I think it can be shared both in finance committee um, as well as um, you can ask Scott or myself or others for more information. I want to talk quickly about safety. Um, we are working on a school safety advisory committee that um, has been an ask by the legislative committee and something that we've talked about here. You've authorized a framework rather than a dictatorial um, aspect going out to LEAs on school safety. So having this really broad-based advisory committee that incorporates law enforcement and uh, community agencies is um, a very exciting um, venture for us and as part of today's um, conversation with the passage of the rule, um, I, I'll just be proactive and send out an, an email to the LEA heads letting them know that the rule has been passed um, and that we um, expect them to make sure that they're notifying parents. Um, we know that packets have gone out and they, they went out a long time ago. So, or they were prepared a long time ago and they've uh, all gone out. Um, but that doesn't preclude LEAs from notifying parents. Also, I want, I personally would like to know um, what's happening in LEAs. I think we make a lot of assumptions that maybe they're not doing a lot of these things when I, I believe that there's a lot of work already going on. So it would be interesting to be able to bring that back to you all. So I'll attach a survey to that. 
before I send it to the LEAs, I'll send it out to you as a board so that you can give feedback on what you'd like to see in there or out of there. And then I'll go ahead and push that out to LEA. So they have the information heads up about the rule and, um, and gathering information as well. Um, and, and then just attached to the school safety work, um, you'll note some upgrades happening to the building. We've been talking to you about those. Um, and a lot of that has to do with safety. So when you look at the parking lot, that, that's an issue that we're addressing around safety. As we reconfigure the building, that's an issue of safety. As we put locks on our doors that are badge um, entry based, that's an issue of safety. Um, we also had a low, what I would call a low level safety incident um, in our building that we just wanted to check on some things and we did an evacuation of the building late one afternoon. Um, uh, Deputy Jones happened to be in DC. I was at a meeting out of office um, and Deputy Norman was here in the office um, handling the situation. So we were all on deck working together and um, we felt like it was a, a good opportunity for us to check on our own evacuation processes and um, practices while it was a, a low level risk. And there are some things we found out that we need to do better in terms of creating policies um, and practices internally. So as we look at the physical building, we also need to look at the, our own processes that we're talking about with our LEAs. So uh, more with that moving forward, and we just want you to be aware that we're tackling all of those things simultaneously. Uh, last but not least, um, our, our staff, we always laugh when people say to us, hey, isn't it nice to have some time off this summer and you've had the summer off? <laughs> and our staff is so busy during the summer and they're um, you know, they're speaking at conferences, they're putting on conferences, workshops, they're providing technical assistance, and I see teachers in and out of this building all summer long, and I just uh, want to give a public shout out to all of our staff members. They're doing tremendous work, and, and everywhere I've been this summer, I get positive feedback about the staff at USBE, and they thank me on their behalf, so um, just shout out and kudos to our wonderful staff here at USBE, and uh, we're here to do the work on behalf of students, but we're here to support you as well. So just want to, I'll end with that, and unless you have any questions. Any questions at this time for the superintendent? Okay, well, very good. We are now going to move at uh, Board Member Stokes' second request, or is it 